all of the bands. Uh, uh, Nirvana was kind of outside of our camp because our camp was was Love Bone, Soundgarden, and Alice. We were all under the same management and the same buildings, right. and and Nirvana was kind of outside that. So I didn't really know those guys that much. I knew Chris uh, probably the best, uh, and I, I mean I never even I, I never even hung with with uh, Kurt in uh, in Seattle. The right. first time, I, the first and only time I ever spent time and hung with Kurt was in Rio in my in my hotel room when we hung out for a couple of hours, and that was a really great hang, and we had a good talk. And but this is, you know, we're two Seattle guys, and we never fucking hung out. That's know, crazy, so, right? Yeah. yeah so <laughs> uh, I always I always remember that time with him, and and it was kind of special, but also really odd because because every day we were around each other you know we're going up the office at chris is there for doing this kim's doing this uh, jeff's up there so you know we're just uh you know working on posters for this okay we gotta, gotta go, go out and put our you know put our posters around the yeah field. we gotta sell some tickets you know Flyer and you know all of that shit. Yeah, yeah 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 doing little little tiny inter- interviews with fanzines and shit like that and uh returning fan mail all of that crap you know uh it was fun it was fun it was totally mom and pop it wasn't big time, you know, and it was it wasn't a it wasn't a kind of a, it was really kind of uh, innocent and probably the best light of of that word and also in this business because uh, you know we were nobody was really looking to take advantage you know like Susan and Susan had Susan had Soundgarden Kelly had Mother Love Bone uh, and they jointly co- managed us right? yeah. They were a powerhouse they, for a they while, were, boy. But they, were, but they were cool. I mean, they were, they were, they were, you know. Uh, and I'll give you an example of how cool. Fucking, I, I mean, I, I, I lived with Kelly and his wife. I lived in the, with them for years. You know, like I moved in with them. They gave wow. me a place to stay. So, uh, you know, I lived with Susan. You know, and, and and Chris when I didn't have a place to stay. That you know, I would stay at their place. I wrote Rooster at Susan's house. Wow. You know, uh, looking out at the fucking water, um, Susan and Chris's house, and. Um, but they wouldn't. Uh, they wouldn't. E- they wouldn't sign a contract with us until they got us a deal. Now, tell me any other manager that would want to get a band under contract and then get you a deal. Yeah, no like, one. Like, let us show you that we can do something for you, and then and then you can sign a contract. That's like real us. management. Yeah, that's real management. Yeah, and that's what they did. You know? hey, yeah. And now yeah. management works like this. Yeah. He's got all kinds of <laughs> shit going on. He's making his own money. Yeah. All right, how can I get in on his money? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? They, they wanted something to happen for us all. And they wanted to, of course, they wanted to be a part of it. They're not stupid, you know, that, that yeah. as far as being a business, but that's not really what it was all about. It was trying to facilitate on that end what needed to happen because we were all taking care of what needed to happen musically, you know? The, spi- the spiral kept getting wider. You know, we kept going further and further outside. You know, down to California and doing wider and wider tours. And cool bands were coming through. You know, and like, you know, you'd go to a Black Flag show or or go to a, a Faith No More show, or and then and then Soundgarden maybe playing, or then you'd go to a, you know, it was just it was it was awesome. You know, it was just it was just a it was a cauldron that was was boiling, and you could feel it. You could you could you could feel it you could you cut it with a fucking knife it was so thick that something was happening and then there's not not anything more validating uh in life when you like going back to what you said at the very beginning when you feel like you're doing what you're supposed to be doing this is what i'm here to do and, yeah and, and i'm doing it and it's fucking happening that's a really cool fucking thing man it's it's something i wish for everybody that you find find whatever it is in life that you love to do and you can be successful at it you know it's insane. Yeah. I, I'm a, I, I, I'm obsessed with the Seattle scene. It never got old to me, and it's insane the songwriting that came out of there. That's yeah. it's all all you can think about. Yeah. Great bands, great songs, great singers, all great singers. Great singers.